So this is the Samsung Galaxy A55. So this is the upgrade of the Samsung Galaxy A54. And also this is the latest phone from Samsung's A series. So Samsung's A series phones are one of the best selling phones all over the world. And this one, this phone starts at 479 euros for the 8128 GB variant. This is also available in 8256 and also 12256 GB variant. So what are the upgrades on the Samsung Galaxy A55? Let's check it out. I'm Ormo Shrestha and you're watching Tech Lake. So the design is very similar to that of the A54 and this is Samsung's unified design. We even see this in Samsung's S24, S23. So the biggest change here is that the Samsung Galaxy A series phone for the first time is getting Gorilla Glass Victors Plus protection on the back and the front and also this one is using an aluminium frame. So for ports and buttons, uh, there's a slight change. So over here you can see that there's a slight hump. So this is a key island design Samsung calls that. Now uh, we have a volume button over here, power button over here. On the bottom we have USB Type-C port, then two mics flanking the USB Type-C port then a speaker outlet so this one has a stereo speaker setup and the speaker is decent not that loud I would say it's decently loud but the quality is good likewise we have a dual sim slot over here and another mic and this one also has a in-display fingerprint scanner which works really well it is fast and reliable no problems with the fingerprint sensor so the A55 also gets IP67 rating which was also included with the A54 likewise I would say this is pretty premium this one feels premium on hands as well but it does feel slightly heavier than the A54 but one thing Samsung should have improved are the bezels so the bezel look thick I think they could have done a better job with this so in terms of display we are getting a slightly bigger 6.6 .6 inch full HD plus AMOLED display on this one and this one also has 120 Hz refresh rate and also 1000 nits SVM max brightness that is under direct sunlight and also has vision booster which is the peak brightness even more in HDR scenes so this display is good the colors are vibrant and also it is very comfortable to use under direct sunlight I did not have any problems using this under direct sunlight. Likewise, the 120 Hz refresh rate feels smooth as well. I did not have any problems like ghosting or you know stuttering or that slight delay with the touch. So touch response is also good. You get two options here. So you can either set it to adaptive mode, which uh, changes the refresh rate according to contents or standard mode. So the display on the Samsung A55 is top notch. And if you guys subscribe to our channel, that would be top notch as well. Now in terms of hardware, the A55 is running Samsung's own Exynos 1480 chipset. So this is a 4 nanobit chipset and if you look at it this is very similar to Exynos 1380 but this one is running slightly higher clock CPUs compared to the Exynos 1380 and also this one has brand new GPU so this one is using AMD RDNA 2 based Xclipse GPU so in terms of memory this one gets uh, 8 GB or 12 GB of RAM likewise 128 GB or 256 GB of storage and it is UEFS storage so if you look at the benchmark scores it is very similar to that of the Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 and the Dimensity 7200 Ultra but it does very well in Geekbench 6 multi-core score as you can see but in terms of GPU it is below the Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 and the Dimensity 7200 Ultra. So in terms of gaming we tested the PUBG mobile and it is sad to see that the Exynos 1480 is not well optimized for PUBG so, so you can only go up to high FPS setting even in smooth graphics settings but you can go up to HD graphics settings and in the settings like it is expected that the game will run well but it is sad that you do not get extreme FPS option even at this price tag like this is not well optimized Samsung should have done better. Genshin Impact we tested the game at low graphics and 60 FPS frame limit and in this setting we got average FPS of 54 there were frame drops but the game runs pretty good and the phone does get warm but it was not too hot. So on the camera front, we have a triple camera setup on the rear. So this one has 50 megapixels main camera with OIS, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 5 megapixel macro, and on the front, this one has a 32 megapixel selfie camera. So the new thing on the A55 is that the Exynos 1480 comes with AI ISP image signal processing. So this helps in improved low light photos and improved low light portraits as well. So let's take some low light portraits now. So now we'll turn off the lights and check out some low light portraits. So for a low lighting, I think this is pretty good. The details of the face looks nice. It is sharp. And let's check out the portrait. So yes, portrait are also good. So portrait looks good. Even the face has good amount of details. It is not looking soft at all. The details on the top is also good. And overall, the background blur is Jackson is also nice. So I would say yes, very improved low light photos and portraits. So check out more portraits in low light and in daylight as well. And let us know how it is. So for the normal photos, I think the normal photos look very good. Very good dynamic range. The details is also nice and the color looks vibrant. Likewise, in the ultra wide, the 12 mesh ultra wide has good amount of details the picture looks 
sharp and the color is similar to that of the main camera but slightly unsaturated. The 32 megapixel front camera also works nice. The uh, face tone is really good and the picture clarity is also nice. It is sharp, the face looks sharp. Uh, it also does very good in HDR scenarios as well. Now for the video, uh, this one comes with 12 bit super HDR videos and at this price range, none of the phones are giving you that. So this one comes with better dynamic range and better colors. Now in terms of videos, this can capture 4K 30 FPS videos from the main camera, from the ultra wide and from the front camera as well. And talking about the video quality, it is very nice at 4K 30, the videos look sharp, the color is also nice and the stabilization is good and that is because for the first time the VDIS is available at 4K 30 FPS. So on the A54, the electronic image stabilization was only available at 1080p but this one has the EIS at 4K as well and the OIS also works. So overall the video stabilization is pretty nice from both the cameras. So the battery capacity remains the same. So this one has 5000 mAh battery. That should mean you will get uh, more than a day of uses in moderate uses. Likewise, this one has 25 watt fast charging. So Samsung claims that you can fully charge this device from 0 to 100% in an around 74 minutes. So this one comes with Android 14 out of the box with 1 year 6.1. And like always, Samsung is providing four years of OS upgrades and five years of security updates. And also for the first time in the A series phone, Samsung is providing Samsung Knox Vault. So this is a hardware level security for your biometrics and passwords so even if your device is physically tampered your sensitive data like biometrics and credentials will remain safe so this is samsung's latest a series phone the samsung a55 and if you want to see more videos about the a55 let us know in the comments down below what kind of context would you like to see so that's it see you on the next one take leg